Shaylee. Welcome back to the channel. Hey. Um, uh, we have a blue thing there because it's blocking the light and also the mess in the background because we have had time to clean or anything. So, today we didn't vlog for the simple thing of us being so stressed out. Um, because yesterday I found out I had multiple health problems which I will insert clips of my doctor's appointment here. I only got audio because I didn't want them knowing I was recording. And plus my mom wasn't gonna film for me. So if you hear that, it's cause the washer's shaking cause it's on level, but um, I'll insert clips right here. The ultrasound you had good cyst on the right ovary. Oh God. Your blood work. You had insulin resistance. What does it mean? You are pre-diabetic. But I do have PCOS. You have some sort of Some sort of, of it. Yeah. Basically what this video is, I'm going to explain it further, and then he's going to explain his feelings of it. He went to go hook up Christmas lights. Basically, insulin resistance means that your body rejects insulin, which makes you gain weight, um, which explains why I've gained over 60 pounds in the last six, seven, eight months. Um, PCOS means it is a disease in women that caused them to have trouble to have children. Um, you form these cysts on your ovaries that block it and like a common thing of it is not having periods. Cramps like a bunch, these cysts can bust and it is the most painful thing in your entire life. Um, enlarged ovaries just mean my ovaries are like inflamed. Um, well, not really inflamed, but they're like bigger than normal, which I noticed in the ultrasound because they had a screen up where I could see. Pre diabetic means that you're not diabetic yet, however, if you do not get it taken care of sooner than later, you will be diabetic. Um, but yeah, I have all four of those issues. And he put me on metformin, which is what they use for type 2 diabetes. And they might use it for type 1, but basically where he's using it to work together with the birth control that he got me on to try to fix my problem. And now that I've explained that, and why we didn't film Vlogmas today, he can explain how he feels about the whole situation. I felt terrible. I don't know if I already told you guys this, but the enlarged ovaries can cause ovarian cancer. And now he can tell you his whole thing about it. Well, first of all, I feel very terrible because there could be a chance that we can't have our babies, which really tears my heart up. But there's also a chance that she might be able to, which that part of me is happy about it. But the way I'm looking at it is we have God and he'd help us. I know we would. But I'm really worried about her right now. And what is it called? Oh, ovarian. Are you talking about PCOS? That with the ovaries or something. The enlarged ovary, it can cause ovarian cancer. I'm pre-diabetic and I have insulin resistance. So, yeah, we're going to start probably exercising and everything. That's another thing he told me. That's another thing he told me to do. Um, he told me that on his part, he's going to give me the medicine. On my part, I have to lose weight. Um, the metformin makes you lose weight. How, like, on itself. Um... And I have to exercise, and he told me not to go on a strict diet. He told me that I can have what I want, but like even burgers. But I'll, if I eat a burger, I have to eat only one bun. Um, just like today, I usually eat like four hot dogs from West Madison Grocery, and I had to cut it in half. I only eat two, and then eventually I'm only eat one. I just got to work up to it. I could have ate in like 50 more. They're really good, and if you've never had them, oh my goodness. That's my second time. Um, but I've like. These pills are huge. 
like they're not huge for like a person but like i have trouble swallowing it like i can't even take a zero tech if you guys don't know what it is it's literally like a small pill like the size of that and i choked on it one day and it was awful but the metformin is quite big for me um and i've asked god to just help me through it and so far i've not had any trouble swallowing my pills or my birth control pills, which is about the size of the zero tech. So, and I'm taking it. I'm taking my birth. Con I'm taking my first dose of metformin every day at 12 o'clock, and my birth control and my second dose at the same time at 4:30. Um, he told me I'll take it right before bed. Um, right now I'm working on getting my medicine up to two pills a day, plus the birth control. They uh, I take two doses of metformin. Plus the birth control. Um, right now, he told me the first day just take half. The second day, take, which was today, take half in the morning, half in the evening. Third day, take half of the morning, a whole pill of the evening. Or vice versa, which is like whole pill of the morning, half pill of the night, evening. Um, then the fourth day, he wants me to be fully on two pills one morning one night and then he wants me to fully stay on that and I have 60 of these pills um so that <laughs> there's that um there's no way to break these pills so I literally have to bite them in half so there's also that um what else it's killing me <laughs> yeah and like I don't know if it's where I'm emotional the pills or not, but like, I don't know. I about passed out when he told me that I had a cyst. And I don't know, it's just awful. But I guess what we're gonna do is just trust in God, believe, and just move on from that. And hopefully that works. And if not, it's just not meant to be, which will be sad, which is a good thing for some future Very kids. Sad. It's a good thing for some future kids because they need families. I'll do that. I'd adopt. Like, I'm literally tearing up right now. <laughs> I was literally tearing up. I'm about to pass out in the doctor's office yesterday and it was not good at all. But I don't know. And, like, I don't understand why this happened at all. Like, I don't. I didn't know you could just develop this disease but obviously you can um i've had them i've had my periods regularly since i was 11 i'm now 17 and they were regular until 2020 so go the figure go 2020 figure. go figure i tell you what this is nobody's ear at all no it's not um but anyway i have a another I have another, he went to go kill a spider or something. I have another ultrasound on January, I believe, 11th. I don't know. And then he's going, like, the ultrasound is to see if, what that cyst looks like. Whether or not it got bigger, whether or not it got smaller, whether or not it stayed the same, whether or not there's more. Um. Whether or not there's another one on the other sit on the other ovary, multiple things play into this. We'll vlog tomorrow. Um, we just wanted a day off because until like now because we've both just been really stressed. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go. Um, we were just both really stressed to begin with, and now this just adds on to it. And y'all see my reaction from yesterday's vlog, um, where I was literally crying. <laughs> um. It just, I don't know, it just kind of breaks my heart because I've always wanted babies and now that might not happen. But yeah. Um, I've tried really hard not to cry during this whole video. Um, Tana told me to tell her what happens. So I need to call her real quick and tell her the whole story. Because I don't know if she's had time to watch my videos because she is working. Um, but yeah. I guess we're gonna go and edit this and get it uploaded. We'll see you guys tomorrow.